New at 10, good news for asthma sufferers. A pill to replace inhalers could soon be in your medicine cabinet. Scientists at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee are working to make an asthma pill a reality. Kareen Zell talked to them and she joins us now live. Kareen. George and Carol researchers here say 15% of people in Milwaukee live with asthma. This is one reason why they're working on a new way to treat the disease. Spring semester is over for students at University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, but researchers are still hard at work. UWM scientists say inhalers could soon be a thing of the past. Rather than having a child go to school with the inhaler in their bag and they don't use it, if perhaps there's a pill taken in the morning or the evening that controls their symptoms, we think that's a much better way. The director of the Milwaukee Institute for Drug Discovery at UWM says asthma is especially bad in Milwaukee. The prevalence of asthma is almost twice that of, of the nation. UWM associate professor of chemistry and biochemistry explains how the pill is designed to treat multiple multiple symptoms of asthma. Muscle constriction, which is inflammation, and thirdly, which is mucus production. With help from many universities and a grant, researchers are making progress. We are, have a lot of research which are done with laboratory animals because they are a very good model in order to find compounds which are active in a live organism. Another benefit, the pill doesn't have steroids like inhaler medications. That not only can cause side effects, but, but also many uh, in many patients, they're resistant to the steroid effects. Researchers say the asthma pill would be cheap and convenient. Scientists believe they'll have a pill ready for humans within the next five to ten years. Reporting live at UWM, Corrine Zell. Today's TMJ4. A lot of progress. Thank you, Corrine.